new 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 Okay. All righty. New, new products. Yeah. So uh, as usual, we're going to go to hit the product page. Yes. For um, let's kick it with that tricolor to start. Okay. So we don't have the demo images yet because our photographer will be in. Um, yeah, on but we have Friday. we have a new overhead. But we have a new which overhead. does work. Which does work, by the way. Look at this. Okay. And then you see us. Like it's kind of sharp. So this is, and this is such a big ink. I have to actually move this. Yeah, you could uh, zoom on. out. I can zoom out. Well, I can also just. Yeah, I'm glad I uh, set this up. This is this is great. This is a hard. I actually, really like I like this. Actually, I really like this yeah. more. Yeah. Okay. Good. Not a mistake. Great. Um, really big uh, ink display. So 800 by 480, and you can see my hands for scale. This is the tricolor version. We had the monochrome version before. Um, this one's tricolor, so you get um, black, white, and red. And what I love is like. At this seven and a half, it actually does. I'm not saying that the other one's really big paper, but it's like you get the pixel density and the pixel resolution. You're actually able to really show images, um, and they look very, very good. So it's not just like a little yeah. pixelated. The color ink displays. So uh, one of the projects I'm doing is taking the news headlines and making images out of the news and making it look. Uh, nice on ink displays because yeah. I don't want to read words. I just want to see a bunch of pictures. Yeah. So um, some days I look at the ink display news and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to skip today. Like it was like a bunch of needles and a bunch of things <laughs> on fire and like a gavel on fire and like two gavels stuck inside each other. And I go, you know what? I'm going to skip today. Um, not really, but it's just like, it's just a like emotional version of the news. It's like, here's everything going. You know, some days you go in some while you see the uh, skateboarding dog on there. It's like, what? And there's a skateboarding dog. But anyways, the screen looks great. You can finally and do, we're these, gonna, we can finally the do these projects. That's yeah. kind of we're gonna use. Uses the standard 24 pin connector. So if you have um, one of our uh, Think Ink driver boards, we always use the same connector. It plugs in directly. We have driver code. Um, we actually have it in Arduino and CircuitPython Python. So you could use it with like a Raspberry Pi. You can use it with a CircuitPython board. You can use it with Arduino. So um, if you're using it with some other system you'll use you'll need something with uc8179 um but i really love this display this is just the raw display so yeah don't forget you need something to drive it but uh we have lots of drivers in the store that you can plug this into and we're we're starting to collect a, you know a bunch of raw we're making it e is displays. we're making it as easy as possible the only reason you'd want to do other ink is if you don't like saving time saving time or and money, need money needs. okay and, and then let's go to the next one and this is gonna yeah. be ba, 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 ba. yeah oh do you want to the um computer do you want to what do you want to do? Um, go to the new product page and we'll yeah, well, you formalize have, it. Yeah, you have you have these. So this is the one that you showed, right? Yeah. And then uh, you've so got, you want, to, you want us to show this? Yeah, so can we flip to the computer from the overhead? Yeah. Yeah. You want to show that? Yeah, and I'll talk about that and I'll, and I'll, and I'll jump back to the overhead. Again. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so we also have a quad 3.52, 340 by 180 quad ink display. So the one you just saw was white background, black pixels, and red pixels. Okay, so now go to the overhead. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. I'm, I was, I'm learning this too. Mm. Um, so this is, I actually have it, you know, kicked it up to my feather ink. So this one, you'll see the, the, the Go through color. all the modes. Yeah, it takes, look, the more colors you have, the longer it takes to refresh. This is, this is quad color with and you'll see it's like it does the red and yellow and then the black yeah. but it's cool because you get like four colors and it's not even that bright in here by the way like i have the lights just for the filming so let me see if i let me put yes. let nice me see if i can even get it brighter okay so yeah it's pretty good and then yeah it has its own light well i mean it's yeah it's because it's light on the top one it's a top one light i don't know right. yeah now it is there you go okay so actually let me unplug this Okay, so then um, yeah, let's show it even yeah. more. Yeah, so this is it showing um, four squares, so you can see like the yellow, black, red, and white pixels. This is a, a different chipset. This is like the JD six one one seven nine or something. Sure. We have um, support for this also in uh, Arduino, Circuit Python, and MicroPython. Yeah. Oh, that's that's big. And okay. then this is autofocus on it, the it, side. It, uh, is, is it autofocusing? You have to click this. Okay. And then, there you go. Okay, and then it, then it focus locks. And then it focus locks. Okay. Yeah, cool. I have the focus lock on. All right, that's really good. Now move the board down too. Okay. Then yeah. So the only thing about this, I will say, about this ink display, is looks again, good. looks good. Like 
this display has this connector and see how the contacts are on the top. So this is the standard. For reasons I, I cannot quite comprehend, this one has the contacts on the bottom, which means you need to flip around the contacts in order contacts, contacts, contacts to use this display. And so when we ship this, we ship this to you with a um, little like joiner adapter and a cable and the cable flips the contacts over to be upright. Why did these e-ink makers decide to have the display contacts flipped? I don't know. It's totally a mystery because again, it's very standard and they just decided to do the opposite. But thankfully it's not too expensive to and difficult to just flip it around. So when you buy this, just realize you can't plug the display directly into an e-ink driver board. You have to use the um, this little joiner and the cable. And then together they will turn it into a flipper and then you can use you know your standard python or arduino code to drive this ink display okay okay cool and then um is it time um one more to go okay. one more yeah so let's go to okay so but then we're, we're done with the overhead okay great okay so the next one is the bmp 580. so um last week we had the bmp 581 and it's a very nice precision barometric uh, pressure and temperature sensor. Now we have the BMP 580, which is less expensive and it's less precise. Um, that's basically the deal. It's firmware, software, pinout compatible. Everything is identical, except these just aren't as accurate or precise as the BMP 581s. Maybe that's okay. Like if you're using it for a drone or something where altitude, like you really want excellent altitude control, the BMP 581 is like going to get you the best performance because it has like plus minus three centimeter um, accuracy at like, you know, about uh, sea level and about room temperature. Whereas the BMP 580, it's like 50 centimeters. So it's, it's, it doesn't have as much precision, but if you're doing just um, like environmental measurement, the BMP 580 will work just fine. Uh, and then so for folks who Generally speaking, when it gets warmer, it gets which which direction? But basically, as you as you get outside of the sea level and um, room temperature range, it's just these are they they have to calibrate these sensors and they kind of pick like what's the most important, what's the most commonly used you're, pressure. You're and temperature. probably in a room and you're at sea level. Yeah, or like you're flying a drone and you're about at sea level. You're a little bit above sea level. But the temperature is about like, you know, 72-ish degree or 25 degrees C. And, and it's around there that they're going to they're gonna calibrate the sensor to get the best accuracy and precision. Mm -hmm. and, but that costs money and like not all sensors are so you don't need that. reproducible. Yeah. So basically the 581 is going to be the most precise. It's going to cost a little bit more. Maybe you don't need that. Get the 580. Okay. Great. And then uh, now the star of the show. Star of the show tonight besides you, Lee Data, all of our customers. All of the robots that play music. Yes. All of the team members that ate for it. Yes. Here is... Dun, 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 the BMP 585. So this is the third in the series of the, the five X's. So all of these, um, again, are, are all code compatible. This is cool. We, can, we have an electron microscope going here. We can, we can yeah, well, I, they, we have an even higher resolution ones, but I just mm -hmm. wanted to, to put that Kinda in. Nice. Yeah. Um, so this is a ported sensor. So the other ones... You know they're enclosed or they have a microscopic hole so that they can measure um you know ambient but let's say you want to have this be underwater or you want to have um, a tube that connects to an outside port or you want this again maybe you're using this for um, like a drone or something where you don't want the sensor exposed to air you would uh, well, the whole the whole body of the electronics exposed to air and with this you can connect a tube up to the port and um, connect a little O-ring onto it. Oh, and then can you, can you go back up one because this one will show the port really well. Yeah, it sticks up and there's a little, you can see there's a little groove for an O-ring. Um, you connect an O-ring. I tried to make a little bit of room around it for the tube. And then you can have the tube go out to anywhere and measure um, barometric pressure. And then the temperature would be um, for whatever air is closest to the sensor itself. And um, this has the same kind of accuracy precision as the BMP 580. But again, it's ported. And what's nice is it's a lot less expensive than other ported sensors, to be honest. Um, usually these are quite expensive, but for the accuracy and precision, you're gonna get a very nice sensor. And um, 
I think this is maybe one of Bosch's first ported sensors. I don't think they made a lot of these. So I'm glad they came out with a variant um, that works with this. Also, shout out to Bosch. Somehow I'm selling their sensor, looking at their sensor. Your writing code for their sensor is I use a Bosch microwave. I have a Bosch dishwasher and one of the tools I really like. Uh, only Bosch made it in Europe and I had to get like a special thing. It's a saw thing. Anyways, Bosch. Go Bosch. Yay, somehow, Germany. Somehow Bosch is all up in my business all the time. Everywhere I go, I see Bosch. Okay. However, here's the one thing. Yeah. If anyone out there has a Bosch microwave, you have to hold clear and off and then the settings button at the same time if it goes into demo mode. Because if you just walk by it, it goes into demo mode. Well, wh whoever designed it, it instantly goes into demo mode. To, I, to ah. be fair, like I bump it with my butt and I think I put it in demo mode by accident. But like when you just walk by and brush up against it, somehow we're just lucky enough where it just happens to hit the exact thing. So anyways, our little uh, pro tip. We don't use a microwave them. <laughs> we're, we're, we don't usually use microwaves. But when we do... When we do, we're just like, well, it's been in a demo mode. I guess that's why it has never gotten warm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. That's, All right. New that's, that's new products. Yeah. Ooh.